Okay. You wanna you wanna ask your question again, Mister? No, I, I'm saying I'm surprised to hear so much about Corona but I, I thought there was not there was nothing known much about it. Nothing known. There's there's a whole ocean of material about Corona but it's mostly undiscovered. By our uh, most of the devotees in our world today uh, haven't seen those references. Most devotees simply read Chaitanya Charitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagavad. And uh, the major Shastras that are known to the world. But there's a very uh, large stock of Shastra or, uh, and other scriptures that are in uh, Vaishnava Padavali that's written by Mahabharata's other associates and who were directly uh, witnessing Mahaprabhu's Leela, like Narahari Sarkar. Narahari Sarkar took birth four years before Mahaprabhu, and he lived 48 years after Mahaprabhu's disappearance. He was in this world for 100 years. And Narahari Sarkar used to lament uh, that uh, Gorgadadhar's Leela, Adrabhyay Kuriye Shila, Kar Sadhya Kuriye Barnon. Gorgadadhar's pastimes, they can melt the stones, but who is there that, who can narrate them? If Sada Shiv, with his five mouths, were to go on narrating, he would not be able to come to their end. And if Saraswati were to go on writing and writing, she could not come to the end. So who am I to write about these pastimes? So uh, it's a very big topic, it's not a small topic. But unfortunately, most devotees don't search for these references. And you have to know Bengali and Sanskrit, because most of these texts aren't available in English. And, and another topic that we're getting into right now is this Gaur, uh, Gauranga's Astaka Leelas, and Gauranga's Golok Leela, Golok Navadip Dham. And there, what the topic that we're touching on now is Gauran Vishnu Priya's Astakalila, which is very scarce. You know? But uh, we have searched and searched and we found many references. And, uh, and there's other great bhaktas of Gauran Vishnu Priya who have written about these topics also. So we've collected these references for this book. Gotcha. And the topic now is the Siddha Chaitanya Das. Although he was very aged and nearly toothless, with leathery skin and a gray-haired sika, Chaitanya Das would then address Dhammeshwar with love-lorn entreaties, just like a sublime and haughty mistress. He's standing in front of Dhammeshwar, you know, and saying all sorts of things as though he were his consort, you know, <laughs> dressed to up in his... You see, he's in Bhav. He's not like you or me. He's actually there. He's, he's taking part in the Leela. You know, where he's seeing the leader, he's seeing Dhammeshwar and he's addressing him like he's his consort. And he, and, uh, but if someone asked out of curiosity, what on earth are you doing? Tears would pour from his eyes as he sharply retorted, Ami je Gorang your battery go? Ore, I'm Goranga's battery. The word battery is a colloquial village term which literally means someone's mistress. But in using the word to describe his relationship with Goranga, Siddha Baba's Bhav touches on the very peak of transcendental enlightenment. Readers, this is something that you and I cannot do. Neither should we try to imitate Chaitanya Das Baba's mood. But for the very rare and advanced Mahatma who can factually forget our world and totally submerge in Goranga's Madhur Prem Bhajan, his introducing himself as Goranga's Bhattari would not be a pretension. At the end of his life, when his Bhajan Avesh grew stronger, Chaitanya Das attained Siddhi in Goranga's Kantabhav. Then he spoke his famous last words. Amar Sadan Holo Sara, Amar Bhajan Holo Sara, Nader Chanda Kanta Ami Kanta Amar Gura. 
I finished my sadhana, I finished my bhajana. Nadia Chan Gora is my beloved, and I am his sweetheart. Chaitanya Das's in, intense internal bhav often manifest in his external activities. And for Siddha Bhaktas, such symptoms often make their bhajana feel like play, like the play of an innocent child. Chaitanya Das daily attended Sri Dhammeshwar Mahaprabhu's Mongol Arati. Afterwards, he would come close to view his moon face. Then he would cover his head with a chadar and sweetly inquire, O oh, beloved, what would you like to eat today? I know that you love shock, so which kind shall we prepare? And would you like to savor mocha ganta or garbator? You know what is mocha ganta? You know the banana, uh, the banana uh, uh, tree flower, the oh. flower of the banana tree. Yes. Uh, they they take that apart and all those little things inside. You know, mm -hmm. they make a sabji out of that. It's called uh, that's called mocha ganta. Mm -hmm. It's 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 a very uh, popular preparation in Bengal, mm -hmm. and uh, Goranga loves to take that. And garbator. There's a, the very inside of the banana tree trunk, there's a, there's a core. Oh yeah, the white one? In the very in center, yeah. That's called the tor, the tor of the banana tree. They, they take that and they chop it up and make a subject out of that. That's called garbator. Interesting. <laughs> After 